Well, hello again. <clears throat> well, how you doing? Well, all right, we're going to get right into it. Today's programming, today's understanding is Father's Day. Hey, happy Father's Day. Everybody out there celebrate? I hope so. And I hope it's a good day. We're going to dig into it from a Moorish perspective. Because sometimes people celebrate things and they don't really comprehend what they're celebrating. <laughs> so we're once again going to get right into it. I'm your host, Pal Baby. And we're going to check out what this brother has to say on the topic. Peace and love. Travel faster than the speed of light. We born throughout the cycle ages to break the yokes of the Edomite. My word is born and needed twice. Moabite prince raised from the soil of soul into a cedar light. Navigate through the dawn until my carnal and spirits unite. The 12th of you, June, that's love, hell, or right. Behold a possessor of sight, me on sight, the beginning and ending. My theory being constantly rising and transcending. Practicing Islamism, seeking unfolding into the true and living. Travel to Sarat, the moves that came moving with tunnel vision. That means I'm focused, pineal gland, and calcified and open, but still searching for the magnum and the opus. Boris Diplomat, rocking that OPLO flow. Bar sharp and scimitars worn by the great Pharaoh. That hieroglyphic encrypted style from the boom bap. Descending of a jar, dice and tracks riding on camera. This is high sign. Dark dust fusing the audio crack. Holy breath transmitted from real to real to Ajax. Mujahideen born and bred the weather the storms. I drop truth like I feed Quran. That's where this is high sign. Dark dust fusing the audio crack. Holy breath transmitted from real to real to Ajax. Mujahideen born and bred the weather the storms. I drop Truth like how feast could run. That's what it is to do notice to the filthy and grimy. My trade winds bring disaster and watch sin from the land like a tsunami. Destroy a house and shift it apart like the continental divide. I like see everything through my eyes, every divine angle in and outside. My pen slide and glide on the papyrus like glaciers. Night of the old republic, little thought like lightsabers. Throughout the UNI verse, all you frauds receive justice. I go the distance and smash you back the surface to nothing. Under the banner of old glory, the red and the green, the color of our flag and principles and oldest creed the holy banner for which we fight and must unite angles of might shining bright through various angles of light black out the annals of history and left ignored the noble moors ambushed and occupied on our home shores behold the resurrection of the asiatic mind of the all 243 years later we back to even the score this is high sign Dark dust fusing the audio crack. Holy breath transmitted from real to real to Ajax. Mujahideen born and bred the weather the storms. I drop truth like how feeds Quran. That's where this is high signs. Dark dust fused in the audio crack. Holy breath transmitted from real to real to Ajax. Mujahideen born and bred the weather the storm. I drop truth like how feeds Quran. That's where it's born. We're going to move into the society we're talking about with the very law, with the enforcement of the law. And we're going to have real, you know what I'm saying, Moorish men, Moorish women running, the, running it. Just because people think it can't happen because they suckers, because they couldn't see the future if the future was slapping them all in the face. Because they're so stuck in their own, they're stuck in the past and stuck in the moment. They're not even in the now. The now means active. These people are stuck in the moment. Stuck in the moment of the blunt, stuck in the moment of the high, stuck in the moment of the drink, stuck in the moment of, ooh, look what she looked like for a quick second. And they're stuck in the moment, just stuck in the moment. Ooh, what they say? 
or what she say on Twitter, or what they wear, or what type of shoe, stuck in the mud. Ain't got no clue of what's popping. See, with this more science, it gives you a clue what's popping on everything, which makes you the controller of, of the things then. That's what, that, that's what that prayer says, Father. Commander, creator, one, one who who can think him way, think his way out if he's got to create the way out. Ain't no stuck. The hell gets stuck. I'll tell you who gets stuck. People don't know who they are. People who are lying on everybody else. Wait. People who have no plan of action because they don't know how to think. People, people who who always in a doubt because they can't because they can't think. You don't have to be in doubt. All you gotta do is use your brain and with your common sense gonna kick in and be like, mm, you know, that sounds stupid. Just because a bunch of people rolling with the stupid don't mean you got to be the next stupid. people stuck fathers don't allow people to be stuck did our father allow us to be stuck no he sent the prophet Ju Ali the founder father of our nation fathers to the prophet Ju Ali as the father and founder of our nation matter of fact we got his last name now now what about that hmm See how tight that father is? Room. Oh, let's let the slap people in. Praise Allah. Excuse me, y'all. I didn't know y'all were waiting like that. Praise Allah. Right? So Father's Day is, is very important. Right? Because that covenant now, as a Moor, as a conscious Moorish American, honor your father and your mother. This is that covenant. You know what I mean? Truly, your father and mother never really wanted bad, unless they were ignorant or crazy. Let's keep it 100. There's some crazy people out there who had children. And some of their children just got the hell away. <laughs> they did it moving like, okay, moms and pops is nuts. But they had a real reason. You know, it ain't no just because you they didn't let you go to the store to, to your friend's birthday party where now you think they all of a sudden don't know what's good for you because they didn't let you hang out. Could be some rapists there. Mm -hmm. Did you see Charlemagne the God story? Right? Uh, 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 moms let let do go out, let let her daughter go out with this this lunatic. Supposed to be all that or whatever, and ended up dosing her and then raped her. That's why your mama talking about, no, nah, you can't go. <laughs> uh -uh. Because she didn't been around. That's why Pop's like, mm, wait a minute, go get my gun. Let's go. You go down there and see what this is about before you go in. Where you want to go? All right, hold on, baby. I got you. Yeah, let's talk about it. As soon as I get home, I'm rolling over there before she go anywhere. Why think she going? Why is she even thinking about going over there? What's over there? And who the hell's over there? Got my daughter interested. Oh, okay. That looks like a good Moorish family. Well, I mean, Islam. Oh, Islam. Oh, Islam is Islam. You know what I'm saying? Let me go over here and make sure your bathroom clean. Okay, yeah, you're a real Moorish family. Got the puppet on. Let's speak real quick. Okay, you ain't one of the fakers. Now I'm gonna go look you up. That's right. Every family and mama and father should have the program where they can go look up somebody. Check them out. Okay, well, yeah, you know, okay, well, way back in the day, like you saw a little weed. Oh man, I ain't. <laughs> well, I got yeah, that was you know what I'm saying? Until we get the community where Everyone was vetted before they got up in here. 
That don't mean we're going to not keep the security. Right? See, fathers, a father is one who's in communication with other fathers. Fathers, when, when the son goes to the father and says, let's go celebrate Happy Father's Day, or go visit them at the grave, or go does the things, whatever, right? All of these things are a way of getting wisdom. See, the reason for Father's Day really was for to make sure you're going back and getting that wisdom. Because he's already been down that road. Why wouldn't you? It's like it's like a it's like your own computer. Your own family computer, like, hey, check it out, Pops, you ever deal with whoopty wop Because right now, me and the family doing good, but I'm about to go do this. I'm thinking about this. Have you ever did that? Oh, well, yeah. Didn't have too much success with that. Well, let me show you the statistics on that, son. You know, that's father. That's, that's really, you know, part of Father's Day, too. You know, you five years in your marriage, Pops is 20, son. Oh, my Right? This is why these lessons are so important, so that there are marriages that last again for 20 and 30 and 40 years. So that the community can see that. So that the children can see that. That's why people ain't respecting nothing. Because there's nothing to respect. Everyone's moved out, like I told you. All the people who had success move somewhere. So there's still children seeing success. So the only success they see is the slick things that go in the underground of the community. Not to say these things don't happen to other communities, but remember the other community, as they walk out their door, their next door neighbor is the doctor. The next door neighbor is, is a, uh, uh, an engineer. Our next door neighbor engineered it, did it moving. As soon as they get a little bread and their dream is the, the whole dream to move out the hood. Look what they give. Who's marketing this crap? You ever ask yourself who's marketing that to our children? Who's telling the, the child you got to move out the hood? First, you're raising a scary child. Got to run from things. Next thing is that you're saying that you're not uh, uh, in control. Are you? you can't organize to the point where you can make your hood look like Beverly Hills. Why it got to be Beverly Hills over there? It's the same street. They got paid the same, same concrete, same dirt that makes beautiful plants. Why can't your plants look beautiful? Why is it always, see, that's why the hood's messed up again. That's why we call it the hood instead of a neighborhood. Who's marketing the hood to my child? Why is it still the hood? Who's, why is it, who, who's still marketing that? You ever ask yourself who's marketing the nigga thing? Why is there still the black ne Negro thing? Who's marketing that? Because it sure ain't the gangster. See, who's marketing being a gangbanger? Because it sure ain't the gangbanger or the dope dealer on the corner selling dope. No, he's trying to hide from the, from the camera, fool. Gang bangers trying to hide and get his gang bang on, whatever, do his thing. He ain't trying to get caught. Why? Because there's consequences he can go to jail. So it sure ain't them marketing this. Who in the heck is marketing this Negro thing? Keep it this hood gangster life. It couldn't be the uh the pimp. He's just trying to get his pimp on. I'm trying to stay away from the, the, the camera. Hmm? You ever ask yourself that? Why do we still call it the hood? Why is there a thing called the ghetto still? Who's promoting ghetto? You know, somebody's got to be marketing these things. Didn't ask that question. You know why? Because you don't want to answer because sometimes the people marketing, you have put on a dang pedestal. You didn't put these ones on the pedestal. And it's hard to knock your little, knock your, knock your, uh, uh, yeah, you know how people used to put posters on the wall of their of their great singer when they were kids. Put the poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway, so a father recognizes he's marketing to my child. Remember, father means you got some kids. Excuse me, children. Right? So a father, who's, who's marketing to my child to make her want to wear short, short skirts? Now they got the, now they have the dresses that show the breast out. They already got the skin tight pants that you can tell everything. Now who's marketing this to my child? Hmm? And why are we still letting it go down? Like you need to show all that just to get a man. So I guess we need to bring the community where all the men be like, look, we men, we ain't, we ain't gay over here. Y'all ain't got to do all that. We don't like you anyway. You know what I'm saying? Trust and believe me, somebody about to get at you within the next 10 seconds. Do y'all need that, sisters? Because who's marketing that? Is it you? Are you marketing that to your little girl? Is it you that's marketing that to your child, making her wear lipstick at, at three and five? Hmm? Could it be you, women? Could it be? Do we need to start pulling the skirt up around here? I'm asking serious questions. Who in the hell is marketing to our little girls that they got to wear skin tight pants to show their little coochie? Huh? Is it you? You better preach, Grand God. Hmm? It's getting crazy. Hmm. Man, you're not gonna make my little girl into a hog. Yeah. 